Hello and welcome to your daily love reading for Monday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. It's Magical Monday. Today I'm sending everyone so much love. So a little bit of a difference today. I'm on camera with you guys because moving forward now, I think some days I'm going to be on camera doing the readings. Some days I'll be behind the camera, whatever I'm guided to do, however I feel. And I feel like being on camera with you today. So we're going to use four decks of cards for this reading today. We're going to use the Gorgeous Light Worker Oracle by Lana Fairchild. I'm going to bring in one of my favourite decks, the Gilded Tarot. I'm going to bring in the Mask and Ego Struggles and Healing. So we're going to connect with what you may be healing right now, what they may be healing right now, what's being healed in the journey. And I'm going to bring in the Tall Tales Cat Crew Oracle by Mystic Moon. Now, if you are a member of the channel, which means you get a little loyalty badge by the side of your name, you get extra videos from me three times a week with me on camera like this. I've used this deck in the Divine Structure reading. So I pulled some cards from the Divine Structure deck, which is about questions we can ask. Today it came up about what's the masculine learning right now, what affirmations can you use and other things. And I use this deck and other decks to connect with the messages. So if you'd like to become a member of the channel today, you also get discounts on readings and things like that. Just hit the join button below. But let's connect then and see what's going on. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach out to me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. What are you learning right now? What are you learning on this journey right now? What are you learning? And there's been some gorgeous messages over the last few days with the archangels coming through. Very powerful. It's exciting for this week. The weekly reading's powerful as well because... You know, you may start the week a little bit stressed out or worried, but by Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you're going to be feeling much more in your power. Yeah, look at that releasing. That's what you're learning right now. What are they learning right now? What are they learning right now? Thank you, angels. Lesson. They're learning lessons. And um, what's the energy around the connection itself? What's the energy coming in around the connection? We've got nature. So you're learning to go out in nature. So what's the message for you today? Let's get some guidance coming out for you. And this is exactly what I do behind the camera. You know, you just, you can see me doing it today. So what's the energy coming in around you today? I feel that's the card there. What's the energy? Oh, there's the card. Sometimes a lot of cards will jump out that way to make one or two known. And I feel that, yeah, this is the card. See this card, these two moving here, they need to come out. So what's the message coming through? for you the star hope for the future there what's the message coming through for them what's the message coming through for them clear card please angels clear card for them clear card thank you there we go and what's the energy that's coming in around the journey itself straight out flying everywhere this is what they do behind the camera they make me work for these cards whether i'm doing a reading or a q a or personal reading whatever it is and we're going to bring in a message for the journey as well Oh, wow, deactivate. And they get, well, it says deactivate. They give me deactivate, declutter, and it says detective work. Interesting. So they are doing some detective work today to find out what you're doing. So what's the message coming through for you today? What's the message coming through for you today? What do you need to know? There it is. I feel there's those two, three actually. What's the message coming through for them today? Clear message, please, angels. Clear card for them. What are they like working about today? There it is. And what's the energy around the journey itself? What's the energy around the journey itself? There we go. And I just want to say a big thank you as well to anyone who's ever sent me through my Amazon wish list a gift or a deck of cards. It means so much. And, you know, I'm really excited moving forward to see what comes, what you guys want to see me use as well. So let's start then with your energy then. So the first message is releasing. You're learning to release on this journey. You're learning to release control. You're learning to release fear. You're learning to release the when, the how, and the if, and all the doubts, and all the struggles. It says, you have to release all that no longer serves you. And that's absolutely true. This can also be things like a job that doesn't serve you, or maybe if you're in your own karmic situation, it doesn't serve you, or maybe you're in friendship circles that don't serve you, or you're eating certain foods or doing certain behaviours that just don't serve you. You're thinking, I don't know why I'm doing that. It doesn't work for me anymore. Because you're changing, you're transforming, you're aligning, you're becoming someone brand new. So you have to release all that no longer serves you. And you might think, well, my person needs to release all that no longer serves them. And yes, that's true, so that they can be with you, the divine feminine. But you have to trust them to find their way. Trust them to do their in their own way. So 
you have to release all that no longer serves you so you can be free to be with your special person whether it's your feminine your masculine your soulmate whoever you class this is so or class this as so you're saying it's not easy because this has been my life for a very long time so the angels are aware that it's not easy for you to let go it's not easy for you to surrender it's not easy but it gets easy with time we have to teach ourselves through self-discipline through operating in the fruit of the spirit doing all the good stuff instead of focusing on the negatives and the stressful things so the angels are saying to you you can do this you can let go of what needs to go and you're saying i am going to do this i'm going to let go of all that needs to go i'm going to let go of all the pain and all the fear and all the stress and all the resentment and everything that's gone on in the past i'm going to let all that go and guess what that's going to lead to hope for the future so when you release and let go it brings in a much brighter clearer future it brings in beautiful things and in this card you know this is one of my favorite decks of cards as well the gilded tarot i use this deck right at the beginning of my own journey this is a deck that's kind of been with me through it all it's so beautiful and i love this gorgeous bright blue in this color you know it's a very beautiful healing energy as well of strength coming in and rejuvenation and power and cleansing a lot of emotion in this card with the water energy as well so I'm really seeing that you're shiny bright right now when you are releasing, you know, when you release anything, you feel better. It's like if you go the loo, you know, we're human beings as well as spiritual beings. So you know what it feels if you're constipated and you feel sluggish, you feel, oh, it's horrible. It can give you stomach pain and you go the loo and you release. Oh, you feel like you've been reborn, you know, and that's what I'm connecting with today, like a rebirth energy. When you release anything that needs to go, even if you need to release tears, you know, there's a lot of emotion in this card. So you may need to just release tears today. You may need to have a big, ugly cry. You'll feel so much better. There'll be a relief that comes from the release. So I'm seeing the star as the, the relief after the release. And it's so true, you know, say if you release something in your life, it can be very scary in that moment to release it. Especially if you've been doing it for a long amount of time, but the relief will come because you'll realise, oh my goodness me, it's so much better to let go than to hold on. And we've got to enjoy the journey. So when you release things, you're able to enjoy the journey a lot more. You're able to enjoy the here and the now, to be in the present moment, to not worry about things so much. So the angels are saying, release what needs to go, enjoy the journey, have a big ugly cry if you need one. And that come through in the weekly reading today, you know, Archangel Michael is there with you, supporting you. And you're going to feel better. It's going to lead to hope for the future. Now we've got the pink rose of Lady Narda here. The first thing I'm connecting with is the rose is blooming. And a rose is about apologies. But a pink rose is about romance. So I feel that you may also be thinking about what you desire. Thinking about romance. And you are a romantic being. You are. You were made that way. You were made to see all the beauty in life. And you are a beautiful being yourself. So you deserve romance. You deserve love. You deserve all the good things. So I feel that Lady Nardaria is helping you to connect with your own self. Now, this is another powerful message about 2029. Because yesterday I was talking about a mass awakening. A mass change is taking place in the world that you're a part of. Bringing that, you know, that to fruition between now and really 2025 moving into the new year and 2029 it's like a mass awakening it's like people in the world are going to start seeing things a lot differently they're going to become more spiritual the world may even become way more divided between people who are awake and people who aren't awake and that's part of your mission too so you being you and surrendering because i feel in this card you can see there what she's doing is she is surrendering she's bringing balance and i'm seeing this as balance you know what i'm seeing here is a lot like the justice card in the tarot you know with the two scales so balance is coming in when you breathe when you go in nature remember you know i saw this card when it jumped out we've got the nature card for what will assist with the journey so if you go out in nature the gardens of life and breathe in the air or maybe you go around water or the ocean or you have a lovely relaxing bath or even a nice re refreshing shower it feels so good and you can allow things in you know you become part of the solution instead of adding to a problem so you being you and surrendering and releasing also has a ripple effect on the world because you feel karma so everyone you connect with feels karma through your light and love 
and you're able to help people out by being more in touch with the divine knowing that your journey is protected and really what i'm seeing lady nordra as here is your higher self so your higher self is also guiding you why because your higher self is tuned in with source you know your higher self is connected with source energy with god the creator so your higher self is constantly guiding you we've also got master hilarion and archangel raphael very powerful so archangel raphael is this assisting you now what i'm loving about this straight away is if you watch the weekly reading and you know if you haven't already make sure you watch it because this card is very similar to what came out in the archangel power tarot in fact i'll show you perhaps this is one of the reasons why they've guided me to be on camera today then so if i bring in the card because i've just used the deck okay so the card will be a it's very similar card okay because it's like a gateway opening yeah look at this here okay see how it's very similar so for example you're walking through a gate in this car the doors are opening the gate is opening and that's exactly what's happening here archangel michael is standing behind you opening this gate now this car came in for the weekend friday saturday sunday so even if you're feeling a bit stressed out today by the weekends the angel is showing you that you'll feel better it says you can be free why because it's a choice Make a courageous choice to change your situation, to release the things that need to go, even if you're not seeing things clearly. So Archangel Raphael and Master Hilarion are actually assisting you to make changes in your life, to release things, to feel free. And Archangel Michael is with you every step of the way. Okay, so I'll remove this card. And if you want to know more about this reading, then check out the weekly reading that I posted earlier today. But this is you being shown that you're moving towards a new beginning. That gateway is open to freedom. And Archangel Raphael is assisting. Now, you know, when I connect with Master Hilarion, I'm actually connecting with Archangel Michael. Okay, because for me, when I'm channeling the Archangels, you know, as an angel therapist, I channel whomever is coming through. And I'm not connecting with Hilarion, I'm connecting with Michael. Okay, but you connect with whomever you are connecting with yourself. Now, we've got Hold Your Centre and this is the 34 energy as well. So this is very much about having faith. It's about angels around you, connecting with your guardian angel, connecting with your higher self, holding your center. I'm really feeling this as your guardian angel with you, your higher self assisting you, that you're not alone. I feel Mother Mary around you today as well. So you've got help from heaven. And I feel this could even be someone who's past, who's around you, a motherly figure, maybe a mum is up there in heaven like my mum is or a grandmother or someone who you were very close to maybe an older sister or someone who was a friend to you a female presence coming in around you today but you know if you can't think directly who that is could be an ancestor that you're not even aware of watching over you but i'm definitely connected with mother mary and your guardian angel so hold your vision hold your course hold your heart space hold your center okay know your own truth and that means trust yourself Trust that when you release things, you're going to be okay. You'll be taken care of. It can be very scary to let go, but it's harder to hold on. It causes more energy to hold on instead of just oh, let go. You know, I spoke yesterday about holding your breath. You know, if you hold your breath in, it feels nice for a while and then it gets painful. So we have to let go. Now, the energy that's coming in around your person today, the lesson that they are learning is lessons. So they're learning many lessons. It says, where I am at the moment, so that could be in a bad place. Maybe you're thinking, well, they're in a really toxic place. They're in a karmic situation. They're doing a job they hate. They're ill. They're in um, an addiction or they're in a codependent situation or they're doing this or this or this. Whatever it is that you see that they are doing, wherever they are at this particular moment, they are learning from that. So you have to have faith and trust that God knows what he's doing. Okay, God put him there for a reason or put her there for a reason to learn in that environment and that situation and through those circumstances, even being around those people. So try and have faith in God's plan because your person saying to you, I am where I'm meant to be right now because I'm learning a lot of lessons or I need to learn to help me to grow within myself. So remember, it's not just about growing to be with you. It's also about them growing within themselves to become a better person, to become a better version of themselves. 
And they're saying, I need to become wiser. I need to become a better person. So where I am right now, it may not make sense to you. Sometimes it doesn't make sense to me, but I am learning a lot of lessons here that I need to learn to help me grow into myself, to become wiser and to become a better person. So that when we are together, when I'm ready to walk away and release this situation to be with you, which is very soon coming, then they're going to be wiser with you, a better person with you, and they're going to be able to treat you much better. And that's where they currently are at this crossroads. Where am I? What do I do? What's next for me? Making decisions, reflecting on things, to be able to be in union with you, to be able to move towards that happy home. This is a huge sign of the commitment to their cause to be with you. So they're making the decisions now to be with you, even if you can't yet see the results. Now we've got for them, be on the lookout. So they're definitely watching you. They're on the lookout. They're aware of what's going on. So if you're thinking, are they awake? Are they aware? Yes, they are. They're on the lookout. And I feel that lookout is you. They're looking for you. They're on the lookout. So they're very curious about you. They're watching you from behind the scenes. So it's very likely they are your secret admirer right now. And they're wanting to know what you're doing. We've got honour your feelings. They want to do that. This is part of their lesson and their growth to be able to express themselves to you, to be able to open up to you and tell you how they feel because that's honouring themselves as well as you and to remain poised, to get ready because they're about to spring into action, to be ready for anything. This is the message that says they are preparing, they're getting ready. So you must be ready for anything right now because anything can happen. Yeah, they're going through Ascension. Look at this, the Rainbow Bridge. Very beautiful. And I feel they've got a rainbow dragon around them as well, helping them to feel better. So the first thing I'm connecting with, with the rainbow, is protection. And they're reminding you that they're always protecting you. But I feel they're going through Ascension, physical Ascension, as well as emotional Ascension, to learn the lessons they're going through a cleansing. So I feel their chakras are aligning. So I'm seeing the rainbow colours as well as the chakras. You know, from the top of the head, even above there where the soul star chakra is, coming down into the crown and going down, right down to the root chakra and going into the roots of the ground. You know, so they are having a chakra cleanse right now through ascension. In fact, I feel a lot of them have been ascending between January and August and I also feel since 2018 there's been lots of changes occurring within them since 2018 for those of you who've been on the journey around that time that will resonate with you anyway but even if you've met them after 2018 they will have been going through things around them that you may not even be aware of that were preparing them for you in the physical so the rainbow bridge is also about coming together in a very beautiful way you know, the way you bridge the gap, the way you come together, the way you sort things out, bridging the gap, closing the gap, which means bringing in that resolution to any conflict or struggle. So they're going through a huge activation right now to move forward. Now, if we connect with the ascension symptoms they could possibly be going through, because you might think, well, how are they ascending? First of all, they give me tooth pain, which is connected with decisions. Remember, they've been going through throat chakra activation, which has been all the um, cold and flu-like symptoms, bringing up the mucus and all of that. So let's just shuffle the ascension deck and see. We, you know, we've had toes, we've had um, hands. There's been many, many things that they've been experiencing physically that you've picked up on. You know, nausea, dizziness has been the shattering of the glass. You know, there's been all kinds of things going on. Yeah, we've got sneezing today. Sneezing. So if they are sneezing and they haven't got a cold or they're just sneezing, it's because they're releasing fear very quickly when we sneeze around making a mistake or doing something wrong. There may be fears around not being appreciated or recognised because of a silly mistake. So again, they're in fear because they know they've made silly mistakes and acted a bit foolish. And they're afraid that, you know, what if you don't love them anymore or you don't take them back because they've made these mistakes? So we have to realise in spiritual truth there are no mistakes, all is well, everything is a lesson. And you can affirm everything is working out beautifully in this moment. Now, that's really beautiful because in the members reading today, that's one of the affirmations that came out in a completely different deck. Everything is working out beautifully for me. So again, mirrored energy, I definitely feel that that will assist you to help you to move forward by affirming everything is working out beautifully. 
even if you're thinking, well, no, it's not because of this, this or this, you have to look at it in a higher way. So the journey itself is asking you to go into nature, asking you to go into nature, asking them to go into nature. You're receiving signs through nature, which may mean seeing animals or stags or whatever else you see, the rainbow as well. So spend more time out in nature because it will help you to find yourself and it will help you to find, you know, it'll do you a lot of good, really. So it says, I'm spending more time out in nature as I'm finding it's going to do me a lot of good. So if you're going outdoors more, even if it's just for a little walk, you know, it will do you good. There's nothing worse than being stuck in a house with central heating on and being stuck in the same four walls. Even if you just go out, go for a walk, go for a coffee, go and do something, it will make you feel better. It will help your heart to heal and it will help with the healing process because it will allow you to quiet your thoughts, get off your phone, to calm your mind and find clarity and to feel better within yourself. So if you're going out in nature more, it's just going to make you feel much better. And that's going to also assist you and them. Remember, this is also a message for them to connect with your inner child, to connect with your higher self, to connect with your angels and your guides to receive clarity in a psychic way. They give me fear to release fear and replace it with faith. So when we are in nature, we're the closest to God will ever be. And we're able to receive messages from the creator. We've got detective work. And then you're able to understand things better. So you don't need to go snooping around their social media because you already know the answers. But they give me the word deactivate as well, because maybe they deactivate their social media. And you're thinking, what's going on? So you start doing detective work to find out. Just have faith they're finding their way out of a situation. Or you may feel that you want to declutter. You know, we went through a lot of that in October, decluttering, clearing the clutter, getting ready, making way for the new. And we've got star child. Wow, you've been reminded that you are a star and that you are a child of God. So you are a star child. You've come from above. You are a light worker and you hold the power in your hands by letting go. So the more you let go, the more it's flowing, the more abundance is coming. We've got the number eight. Remember, not long ago, the crow brought you a message of the number eight saying great things are coming. So the more you let go, the more you release, the more you're in nature, the more you go with the flow, the more you understand they are learning lessons, the more things flow through you and to you. And the more you start to receive because you recognize that you are a star child, that you are a child of God. And that means that you are made in his image as the I am. That means you are a creator and you can affirm what you want. I am in a wonderful, loving relationship. I am successful, I am abundant, I am valuable, I am respected, I am aware, I am aware that everything is working out beautifully for me. So let go today, and release, release what needs to go, our faith in where you are and trust the love. And if you enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up because it really does help. So have a great day, I'm sending you so much love, I hope this helps and I'll see you soon.